Super simple. Super easy. You have a super stopper. <laughs> How's that for a segue? Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today we're going to find out just how many licks it's going to take to get to the center of this brand spanking new silver, black, and blue. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> that actually came out of my mouth. <laughs> Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today I'm going to be finding out just how many licks it's going to take to get to the center of this brand spanking new silver, black, and blue. Beautiful, new for 2020, Shimano Saragossa SW, some say A, 6000 HG. This is the brand new model that just came out. And what we're going to be doing today is shattering a world record that doesn't even exist by finding out how quickly it takes to go from completely fishable down to bare frame. And it's with all that being said, start your stopwatches right now. We don't waste anybody's time here at Tackle Advisors, do we? Top of the oscillation stroke, so we're going to take advantage of that and pull the spool support in the bottom seal. Now, <laughs> I have not been in this reel yet, so we're going to go from fishable to bare frame as quickly as possible. We don't know what hurdles we're going to be up to up against, like throwing our screwdriver across the screen somehow and managing to catch it. So we got skills to pay the bills. Here. Normally, I don't know if I go after the rotor first, and it's going to be a counterclockwise. But the spool is at the top of the oscillation stroke, so we figured, why not? And I know you guys want to see the ceiling, and so do I, but this isn't. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. I don't want to damage that seal. We got lucky there. We didn't pull too hard. under the boot. Hopefully it's just real. Yeah, no internals. Thank you, Shimano. Oh, our hands are greasy. We can't spin it. We're losing valuable seconds. We can't spin it on the narrower shaft because our hands are all greasy. All from pulling the spool support and running along the, uh, the lube on the shaft. This is a family, friendly channel. Now we're looking at the rotor brake, which is right here. And I do have an O-ring manipulation tool, aka pick tool, with a blunt narrow tip. And we're going to kind of reach in here and lift it out. That's what we're looking at next. We're going to kind of go with the flow around just to clear a little bit because you don't want to ever really overstretch that. And just like the old Saragossa, there's two looking at you. Don't forget those screws. You'll never get to reel open otherwise. Jeez. Finally pitched and long screws here. So far, nothing crazy. Ah. <laughs> Are these going to fight me? These are going to fight me, I guarantee it. Whoa, look how long that screw is. Are those the longest screws ever used in a Shimano reel of this size? I don't remember seeing anything longer in a spinner. I mean, that's a solid inch. And here's an up close look at the ceiling at the 
in a reverse clutch. Very similar in design to what you had in the previous generation Saragossa. Okay. Can we get in? Let's pull the paint. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Almost too easy. All right, so we got three screws supporting and maintaining compression of that side plate seal that we saw earlier. And tweezers, give me tweezers or give me death. All right, we got to pull the main shaft. Ah, oh, yes. Leaned it nice and cleanly. Main gear should come right out. We have our oscillation cam. No bearing, runs on a bushing. Perfectly acceptable to me, especially considering how fluid and smooth. And what is this? What is this? Oh, um, want to call time on that? Do we have to remove the ball bearings? And we'll move. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We're not going to go crazy. We don't want to strip anything. These screws sometimes get a little fussy. They're different than what... Okay, that was easy. Well, this side should be easy since this is a graphite side plate. The other side that uses finely threaded screws may prove to be a little more difficult to crack the threads. And uh, Ernie from Bearing Bad, the best tool in the business... I'm I'm stalling here. I got to focus on the world record times, guys. But Ernie from Bearing Bad makes these little ball bearing uh, puller tools. And okay, we're going to have to go with the little micro. This is what we're worried about, guys. This is where you can really mess up your reel. We cracked that one nice and clean. That one cl cracked clean. And this one cracked clean. Thankfully, that's not always a guarantee. Once again, Ernie, let's see if we can get the seal out too. Yeah. Time! Fishable to bear frame. And, uh, so, you know what? Yeah, we're, we're calling time. Shut up, guys. I don't want to hear it. Look at that. Same or similar to the uh, previous generation Saragossa. Daddy Likey. Super simple. Super easy. You have a super stopper. <laughs> How's that for a segue? And uh, you know what? We'll crack that just so you can see what it what it looks like underneath here. This little screw here only exists so that way when you pull the clutch off, everything stays in place. That way you can take it out. It's modular. You, you know, you never really have to open this up unless something gets in there, and you need to really, really fine tune the clean it out and detail type work. Uh, big cylinders. Nice clutch, best clutch in the business, very sensitive to contaminations and grease and oil. So you want to make certain that if you go in there, you know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to have failures, especially in cold weather. And uh, because we're here, we're going to throw the drag knob on the floor. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the drag stack again. Wait, I, okay, there's two. <laughs> Interesting. Is that a cartridge? What's going on in here? Super greasy. Another great use for the bearing bad tool is if there's anything easily removable, it'll get to that too. Good, that one cracked nice and easy. Very straightforward reel, guys. Even though it has a dual drag stack, we'll see how dual it is, but we have no reason to believe that it's not anything like 
the prior generation Saragossa. Cool. Wow. That's cool looking. And boom. That's why it's very chunky. Look at the drag click mechanism in this thing. How often do you see two individually potted springs running on little ball detents? That's pretty clear. Clean. And cool. That's that's nice. I like seeing that. That's really cool. And it goes in this little cartridge here. I'm going to shoot it across the room. Thankfully, we didn't. We're going to put that there for safekeeping at the moment. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Give you guys an idea how to get inside your new Saragossa. And uh, remember, it probably voids your warranty, so don't do this. But if you must, that's how easy it is to do. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Tight lines. I'll see you soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye-bye.